today we will be going into the performance management so going into the performance management uh, again we have to go into the uh, tool either you can go here from admin center and go to the performance management and here you can select manage template so earlier we were into the goal plan which we have created a template now we will be going and creating the performance form template so going and creating the performance form template we will be clicking on the performance preview you can see here as it is a demo system so lot of templates are there here yeah? but when we go into real time basis on a yearly basis only one template will be there from the customer side okay so before going and creating our template i think we can able to randomly take any one sample template and we can able to discuss how they have created the template and what are the sections are there which are there and then we can go and create our own app and after that we will launch the uh, form okay okay uh, so let's take i I'm, i don't know some uh, participants or some uh, training uh, trainers they would have created some template i'm just taking randomly some template let's see so when you go and create a template you will be having this page the standard page for the performance form template which will be having the preview general settings and edit fields and sections how in the goal in the goal plan template you have the categories and fields here you will be having general settings edit fields and sections and the preview okay so the first section you are seeing is the is the preview section this is common for everybody so once you launch the form to a user so in that particular user space the form will look like this the appearance will look like this. okay mm -hmm. so after the preview when we go into the general setting in the general settings in the right side you have you can see the name what is the name which you have created for the performance form then you have the description you can see the description if you want to add your add our own description that is also possible okay so we can add our own description also now after the description then you have a route map if you remember when we started up with the goal plan we have created the rating scales and the route maps both we have created in advance okay so here you have to map your route map with the performance form in the performance form template you have to do the mapping for Uh, you have to do uh, mapping for all the three sections. One is for goal, another is for route map, and the third is for rating scale. So in the general setting, you are seeing the mapping for route route map and the rating scale. So route map, whatever you, whatever is the route map which we have created, we will be selecting that route map and assigning here. Similarly, when you go here, scroll down, you can able to see the rating scale. So, what are the rating scale which we have created? We have to select a rating scale and we have to assign it here. Okay. Up to this, it is clear. After that, into the next uh, section, this is the, the option which is showing high numeric rating value. So, what is the meaning of high numeric rating value? See, when you are selecting our rating scale, our rating scale will be some rating which we had given one to five, one to three, one to seven, some rating scale. So, if you want to hide the numeric value, like one, two, three, four, five, six, that numeric value, if you want to hide, the only you want to show the text on the text labels, then you have to select this particular option. Okay, so you will be hiding the ratings, numeric ratings. Okay, so 
when we launch the form because we have not launched the form so once we launch the form and we open the form then we can come and compare each and every field what is the meaning of it and how it will be look like okay so hiding the numeric rating means when we have created the rating scale we will you are given some rating scale range between 1 to 3 1 to 5 1 to 8 or something so that you need to uh, if you want to hide that value you can able to go from here okay go to uh, do the configuration here unable to read means unable to read means uh, when you launch the form in every goal like the goal 1 Goal two, goal three, goal four will be there. In every goal, there will be some self rating will be there, either in the uh, star or either in the form of particular uh, rings, okay, circle, okay. So you will be selecting that number of rating. Suppose you are giving a self rating for a particular goal as two, so you will be selecting two stars. So giving for three. rating so you'll be selecting for three star okay unable to read means <laughs> enabling unable to read option means suppose in the case of a manager when the form will be sent to the manager what will happen uh suppose you have not uh you have not uh, if the employee has not worked on a particular goal already the goal was there in the template and he has not worked on the goal due to some reasons and manager don't want to give the rating don't want to give the rating uh, any particular rating to that to that goal in that case if you are enabling unable to rate there is a uh, icon which will be coming there and the manager can able to select that icon once the manager click on that icon it will show that the manager don't want to give any rating to that particular goal okay so it it means that that the uh, weightage will not be countable okay on the final rating so that configuration also we will be doing here into unable to rate so if you want to enable that particular thing you have to mention something in this particular block okay so here they have not mentioned anything okay then allow managers to stack rank employees on the competency stack rank means stack rank we have seen if the manager want to see the manager as a direct reporting of five people five direct reports are there and all the five direct reports if the manager want to see in a very sequence okay so that then you have to enable this option then all the five direct reports and their ratings they can see in one line okay that is the meaning of allow managers to stack rank on a competency section okay up to here it is clear any doubt before going and creating our own goal and after launching the form we will be having more clarity and we can go and compare those uh, once the form is been launched we can go and compare each and every uh, section okay but now what we are doing is that we have taken randomly one template and we are discussing what all things are there in this uh, template okay and the same thing it will be uh, repeatedly coming when we go and create a new okay so here you can see advanced setting here you can see both advanced setting also you can see and show advanced option also you can see. so when you click on the advanced setting when you click on the advanced setting it will show in the managing form template okay so it will show the template name what is the template name it will show then the template type it will show okay template type that is or let's say that is called as a em review okay template type last modified you can see the last modified date also it will be specified here root map if any root map is assigned to this particular template it will be showing then you will be having this 
default date to the form. This we have already discussed in the starting. The start date, end date, and the due date, everything will be coming up. Okay. There's a lot of functionalities are there. It depends upon the customer which functionality you want to enable and which functionality you don't want to enable it. Okay. This is something like a how in employee central you will go to the provisioning system and downloading the data model. Okay. So in the data model, a lot of predefined features are there. Similarly, for the form template also, these are some predefined features. Okay. So if the customer says, I want this particular functionality, then you have to go and check that is enabled or disabled here. Then you have to, if you want to enable, you can enable here. And you want to disable, you can able to disable here. Okay. So in this particular form template, I won't be discussing the entire thing, but a couple of things I will be discussing in that one part is this one that is this section, okay, which indicate automatic manager transfer. So, if I give a scenario, even in my uh, one of the project, also the same issue happened uh, when the manager got transferred and the new manager came at that time, what happened? Uh, for some users, the form, the performance form was still there uh, in the old manager's inbox and it has not been automatically transferred to the new manager. Okay, so in that case, we got a ticket, we got a support ticket uh, that some forms are still with the old manager and the form has not been transfer to the new manager. The reason is that see, here we have already enabled it, but when you are importing, when you are doing the UDF, you remember when you are uh, uh, with the help of UDF, you are performing an action of hiring, transferring or changing the what you call supervisor or something. In that case, in that at that time, there is a functionality called import employee data in the uh, this one employee center. So when you are going and selecting import employee data, there you have to select enable this one automatic manage transfer. So it indicate that automatic inbox all this option you have to enable it automatic inbox document transfer to the new manager. So what will happen when you you have created a you have created some uh, data in the UDF file. Means you updated the new supervisor detail in the UDF file. And now you are importing that file into the system with the help of import employee data. When you import it, at that time there is one option there that is automatic managed manager transfer. You have to enable all the options. And when you import it, what will happen is that to which employee it is getting updated, the supervisor and everything, that whatever is the document, either it is a PM form or whatever is the document, which is there with the old manager, that will be automatically transferred to the new manager's inbox. Okay. In case if the end user or the HR has not performed that action, but unable to enable this functionality, then in that case, the any document, PF, uh, PM form document, any document will still showing in the old manager's inbox. Okay. So we got a similar ticket and uh, we have to do some manual activities for pushing that form to the new manager. Okay. And we have communicated to the HR, to the client also that whenever they perform this action from the employee center, you have to enable this particular option. Got it? You see, can't enable, power that. Uh, see, you are uploading some file. In the file, you have made some changes. Okay, in the file, in the CSV file, you have some data. An employee data is there. And in that employee data, there is one column called supervisor. You change that supervisor. So you are changing a supervisor for that employee, right? And you are updating that data and you are re-uploading that file in the system. When you are re-uploading that file in the system, 
system will update that file if, when you after the, uh, importing when you go to the employee profile in the job information you can see that new supervisor name is reflecting but in this process if you are not enabled this uh, feature then the data will not the document will not be get transferred to the new manager okay mm -hmm. so so that it is not a role of a it is not an activity or a action which has to be performed by the consultant by us it has to be done by the hr but we have to hr will be having all the access they have to perform this uploading and everything on a day to day basis so those access they will be having udf file and new employee hiring and everything they will be having that is these all features are for the hr only for the end user only it is not for us we will do the implementation of we will do the designing for them but in case if they are facing some issue with this particular feature or particular functionality then we will try to investigate what went wrong audit trail is there but audit trail will specify that uh, uh, what you call who uh, uh, who was uh, modified uh, uh, means last modified date it specify it specify the la who was modified by who was the person who was modified uh, last modified by all this detail will come under the audit trial report we are not hiring a new employee manager is already there in the system but the but the thing is that one manager got transferred one manager added into the uh, uh, one manager is the replacement of the transfer manager okay again i want to define yeah. one thing suppose suppose uh, you are an employee your manager got transferred okay now mm -hmm. you have been based in one location in that location suppose around 50 employees are there who were these 50 employees were reporting to this manager now the manager got uh, elevated he got promoted and he has been moved into the another level so now another person has taken the position so for when the another person has taken the position so all these 50 employees will be again re reporting to the new manager yes okay so when the person when this 50 employees is reporting to the new manager so all the 50 employees would have done the appraisal process in the last one year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this appraisal process, who has done? The old manager. Yes. The manager Sorry, yes. Was, was transferred. They would have done the appraisal. So some, have, some, uh, some direct report is appraisal would have completed. Some direct report is appraisal would be pending. Okay, so the the form which is been pending, which, which will be there in the old manager's inbox. Once you complete yes, the appraisal, you once you complete the appraisal, the form will be automatically moving from the manager, and it will show that the entire process of the goal management and the performance performance review has been completed. Now, the purpose of this particular functionality is that this is an automatic transfer of a document from the old manager inbox to the new manager. So, when you are doing some changes in the employee data, how you will do the changes? With the help of UDF only, user data file. Okay, because why you are using UDF? Because UDF is used when you have to do some changes for the bulk data yeah. okay yeah. one or two you can able to directly go into the employee profile go to the action and from there also you can do yes. but for 50 employees you cannot go to each and every employee at a time if yeah. you want to import you will do the udf okay so when you do the udf there will be some columns will be there employee id user name user id first name last name like that columns will be there in that you have one column for manager or the supervisor where you will be mentioning the new supervisor's id 
okay then when you are importing that particular udf file in that you have to select these options okay so when you are importing all the 50 employees managers uh, uh, new manager will be assigned and also in that 50 employees any employees data is there in the document is there with the old managers inbox will be also get transferred to the new manager yes so this action this activity we are not doing we consultants are not doing this is the uh, application which has been implemented for the client the client team and end user who are the end users the hr team will be there payroll team will be there then support team will be there they have to do all these activities with the help of this application but in case if they are facing some trouble in term of uh, the functionality or the feature where the functionality is correct but still the output is not coming or else uh, their functionality is also correct but they are doing some in the process they are doing some mistake but they are not understanding that they, that mistake has been done from their end but the output is not coming so when they when the ticket is being raised when the support ticket is being raised, that ticket will be coming to us as a consultant. When we will try to investigate, we will try to understand what is the process they follow, first of all, end user. But how you have done, how you have performed the action. And we will try to see while performing the action, had you followed these options or not. Okay. Mm. And after they have followed this action also, but still the data is not coming, then there will be some synchronization. That is the other part. Then there may be some jobs will be there, which may have, which we have to run from the, from the provision. That is the later part. But during the process only, they have done some mistake while importing that data or the data is corrupt or the manager is inactive. Okay. So in all this, See, once you are seeing the same process for one of my client also that they are also doing because they are maintaining SAP HR also as well as success factor also. But the yeah. but their but the payroll is processing from SAP HR, not from the success yes. factor. So even recently last week also there were some requirements where they were doing some importing the data, but some uh, columns there were some errors which was coming. Uh, and for that they were they have tried to reach us but importing and everything they have taken care not by us the udf and everything the data yeah, yeah. tell me so um last week also we got we got some uh, uh issue where the hr where the uh company HR was trying to import something and while importing they were getting some errors and the errors were something like uh, uh, particular object object in the sense in success factor language MDF object any department or any division that is not associated with the other MDF object so they try to understand why this error is coming that was one error some error was coming that uh, some uh, while importing the value is uh, invalid. Okay, the value in that particular column is invalid. It should it was showing null or something was coming invalid. So from how they captured this data in the import from the SAP HR, what you said, they got the data from the SAP HR in the UDF and in success factor they were importing it. Okay. So this process, what you are doing in your previous company, uh, in uh, with my customers, their HR are doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay. okay, but in case if for importing or anything, if they come across with any issue, why it is showing an error or something, then they will try to uh, consult us, and we will try to investigate that is the value still there or not. That also. For example, uh, there was one issue where 
department is not associated with a division okay and when we try to see when we go when we went into the managed data and when we see that department is already associated with a division okay but when we have seen that when we uh, went again into the division the record that was in, in inactive mode it was not active okay so already the association was there but the association record is inactive in the system because of that they were not able to connect the association system was not able to do the association between the two objects and it was it was throwing the error while importing the udf okay that was one example yeah so yeah so here also while importing and everything then um, this uh, what you call we should make sure that the transferring uh, of the doc, uh, document from the old manager's inbox to the new manager's inbox this feature should be enabled so this was one of the scenario which we came across and we try to figure it out okay then we have the some standard features all these things are standard uh, vertical features and according to the customer requirement you have to enable or you have to disable it okay and from the form template setting this is the form template okay this form template is coming from where form template is coming from let me and if you are making some changes you can able to go and update it okay. this form template is coming from the advanced setting that is from the general settings okay now below also you can see the show advanced option okay under the general setting so when you click on the show advanced option in the general setting you have these two options enable previous step button enable delete option okay so when we create our own uh, record then we will do the enabling part and after that you have this permission we will discuss on this when we will create our when we will launch our own form okay what are the permissions which we need to give okay button permissions are there dating permissions are there so that permissions once the form is been launched then we can go and compare those permissions how to, while changing the permissions how it will be reflecting in the form okay and these permissions will be coming in every session okay we were discussing in the general setting now when we are going into the edit fields and sections in the edit fields and sections you have employee information review date goal core value role specific these are the two these are the two categories core values and the role specific competencies then you have the strength and development summary sections signature okay these are the sections more over the sections now first when we go to the employee information employee information when the form will be launched you will be you can able to see the employee information so when the form will be launched the uh, is a small box will be there in the in that it will be showing the first name whatever the option which you are choosing first name last name department all these things in a very tabular form it will be showing uh, when the form will be launched to the employee okay that configuration you are doing it here okay in the employee information performance form this is the performance form in the performance form and under the employee information you will be doing that particular configuration okay and again also you have this option that is show advanced option when you go here here you can see if you need to give any permission that also we will discuss once the form is been launched then you have the review date when you go into the review date okay mm -hmm. review date will be specifying uh here also there will be okay here also they have they have given the permission so if you have any date you will be specifying that date that start date end date due date that will be automatically coming in the section and if you want to give any description 
what is the meaning of this particular review date that description in a paragraph if you want to give you can able to specify that description here okay that is the review date coming into the goal this is the most important because in the general setting we have done route map and rating scale and the third one is the goal when you come into the goal you will be seeing the name description okay you will be seeing the section name goal and then you should scroll down here you can see here goal section okay so you have chosen the goal goal whatever whatever was your goal you have done the mapping of your goal here okay whatever the goal which you created recently last week we created one goal template by name scl so you have yeah. to assign yeah. that goal here in the performance form performance so you are mapping that goal with the uh, you are synchronizing that goal okay that part after that show add existing objective button so add so when the form will be launched to the employee who want to give the add option to that particular of objective that is the part which is showing here okay unable to rate unable to rate means again i explained you when the rating will be there in the star 1 to 3 we have a rating scale of 1 to 5 so five stars are there now how you how much rating you want to give to that particular goal to two rating so you click on two stars but if you don't want to give any rating to that goal because you Uh, because that person has not completed that goal and you don't want to give in that case there is a circle option will be there so when you click on that circle option it will show that you the manager don't want to give any rating when that circle option will be enabled when you mention some uh, text here under this unable to rate box so that circle option will be enabled so that is specifically for the manager manager don't want to give the rating manager want to take a option in hold with something like a hold okay mm. so that functionality you need to configure here this is also sometimes somebody who is uh, as a fresher or somebody who is going for the interview the, it is a interview question in the performance form you see but unable to rate what is the meaning of unable to rate why we are configuring the unable to rate option So sometimes the customer says this while while giving the requirement the customer have this requirement also. Okay, so that requirement will fulfill with this particular feature, unable to wait. Okay, again under the goal you have the advanced option. When you go here, in this here lot of options are there. So we will discuss. This is called as a rating option. This one. This one. Based on the goal, goal is goal is something like part. a template, a template where you have some categories, you have some fields, you have configured that. Okay, perform hmm. performance form. You are linking that goal with the performance form. Now, when the performance form is being launched, suppose you are launching a form to the X user. So the X user, when the form is being sent. the x user can see all all the goals four goals or eight goals or whatever the goals he or she can see all the goals and when he or she is seeing the goal in that goal you have to give some permission and accesses that permission and accesses you are giving from the performance form the rating scale root map okay then uh, what you call uh, uh, button permission view permission write permission comment permission okay all these options you are doing not from the goal template but you are giving from the performance tab goal template is only a something like a uh, what you call a, a spreadsheet something like a spreadsheet which you are capturing in a goal plan and that goal plan you are with the help of that goal plan you are creating a template and that template you are linking with the performance form finally you are launching the form you are not launching the template when you are launching the form 
the template will be gold template will be automatically connected with that form okay yeah okay so here uh, in the goal when you go to the advanced option this is the important part this we will discuss on the forms is being launched this one up to here we have the rating options this is called as a rating option i will write somewhere Right, this is called as a rating option. Okay. Rating option. When we start discussing, we will again come back. So we have uh, rating rating option. We have four types of rating option. Rating option zero. Okay. Then you have. That I will mention the rating option one, rating option two, and I will have the rating option three. Okay. There are four types of rating option, and these rating options are coming under the under the advanced this one, advanced option. So which I highlighted, these are the four rating options. So once the form is being launched, we will try to change this option and we will see how the things will work. Okay. So we will discuss this part and we will discuss the last one. This one, this one, permission, section permission, action permission, field permission. These two parts we will discuss once the form is being launched. Okay. Mm -hmm. One is this one, which is called as a rating option. So we have in performance form, we have four rating options. Rating option 0, 1, 2, 3 are the four rating options. Okay. So here, exclude. So here there are certain enabling options. If you want to have the enabling part of something, uh, that in the performance form, once the form has been launched and the, and the user, when the user sees the form, in that form, what are the uh, what are the uh, what you call what are the patterns or what are the features you want to enable it or you want to disable it? Suppose if I'm just include the ability to enter a way. So if I'm if I'm just clicking on here, okay. So once I save it, I can able to once the form is launched, I can able to show you what is the meaning of this enabling tool page. Ability to wait, ability to enter a bait. Okay, weightage means in the starting when you have mentioned the uh, what you call gold. Gold you have mentioned five percent weightage. If you remember, we have created some four four gold, four or eight gold, five 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 like that. Forty five it was coming as a total weightage, right? So same include the ability to enter a bait. Weight means a weighting. So if the user want to enter the uh, weightage comment, weightage there in that particular goal, that option you are giving it here. Include a comment means whenever you are giving a rating, that uh, self rating or the manager rating, there is a comment box, rectangular comment box is there. So you want to enable that particular comment box or not. Okay. Then, after suppose four goals are there, so every goal they will be having rating, comment, goal rating, comment, and after after all the goals they will be having an overall comment for that entire goal. What is the overall comment? So that also you need to enable if you want to enable. Okay, then you have a display section in the summary. Okay? When we launch the form, we will come back here and we will each and every uh, feature one to one okay display calculated section rating okay auto populated goal weight from weight in the goal plan okay so when the form is being launched we can able to go and compare each and every okay so and also synchronize goal from a goal plan and a review form what is the meaning of this already we have done the synchronization here if you go here 
in the goal plan if you, are, if you see here we had already done the synchronization here okay we are already done the synchronization we added the goal here the linking is already done why we are going again here for the synchronization the purpose is that suppose if uh, while creating a goal template the goal we have created around eight goals okay mm -hmm. and the form is been launched okay after the form is been launched later they found that they they won't require the eight goals and they deleted one goal so it becomes seven goals so if the synchronization here it is uh, enabled what will happen is that after launching the form also if the what you call uh, goal has been deleted there it will automatically reflect in the form only because the synchronization is already enabled here that is the purpose of synchronizing a goal from a goal plan okay so if you are okay. doing any modification in the existing goal plan which is already been launched and if you are if you are enable this option then that changes will be reflecting in the uh, uh, form which is already been launched also Okay, that is the purpose. Okay, use metric lookup means table means uh, when the form will be launched, there will be an option. The top there will be a tab, a button. Okay. When you when you click on the button, it will show you a uh, rate all the ratings. It will be show in a tabular form. Okay, overall rating, calculated rating. Okay, goal rating. Okay, section wise rating. All these things in a tabular. In a, in a tabular form that if you want to get that particular thing you will use use metric lookup table rating okay include in overall goal rating means how uh, we have seen here overall comment here overall comment similarly overall goal rating means after the form entire rating is been done lastly there will be a place for goal overall goal rating calculation that is displaying the goal section okay all these things we will be seeing once the form once we create our form and once the form is been launched then you have a minimum goal required maximum goal required okay so that you can able to mention manually also this is automatically coming section weight okay section weight how much weight you are taking 50% we have already taken if you remember 5 5 5 45 and one five percent we have taken for that uh, uh, csv udf upload so total 50 percent okay total weight 100 rating scale we have again map the rating scale here okay then again coming here default rating default rating selected tech rating so when i told you you have a rating scale one to five so five stars are there One, two, three, four, five stars are there. In front of these five stars, you can find a text called "Select a Rating." Automatically, it will be coming. So you can bring the cursor on the star, and you can give the rating. Okay. So that that star, that option, it will say that you have to select the rating from here. So that is coming. Why it is coming? Because you are specifying a text here. If you want to add a separate text, you can add your own text also. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then you have this choose an alternate label, and you have this particular sections. So this is about the goal. Coming to the core value, when you come to the core value, again in the core value you will be having some description, and then you will be having the core competencies, which is already. Defined. So you will be having two categories: job specific or core. So when you are having the core competencies, it may be already defined in the system. So that is automatically coming. Okay. And again, it is showing the allow managers unable to wait. This will be repeatedly coming in every section. When you go to the again show advanced option, in the show advanced option, these options will be again repeatedly coming. in the core value okay which we have discussed right now 
the same thing when you go into the role specific competency in the role specific competency also they have chosen the job specific competencies okay and again you have the show advanced option here okay so you have to choose those options from here and you have to do the configuration and then you have a strength and development okay strength and development this is standard way it will it is coming here okay this is only related to the comments section okay so strength and, and then you have the summary section in the summary section you will be having the weights okay allow manual rating allow manual rating means if i am just unselecting means system will calculate automatically but if your manager or if anybody wants that this has to be calculated automatically if it has not to be calculated automatically you have to do the manual rating then you have to enable it then there will be option to editing whatever the rating is coming over that you can able to mention your rating okay that is manual rating allow manual rating okay then you have a goal under the weight section equality you have a goal whole value role specific so you have specified some uh, weightage all together it will come as 100 should come as 100% depends upon the weightage which you want to give okay or you want to add on okay that is coming under the summary section again under the summary section you can able to go and see the options again it will be coming the repeatedly the same option okay then again come down to the signature section in the signature section you can able to specify the description and after that you will be having the uh, option of giving the permission okay so this is all about the template which we have seen now let's go and create our own template so for creating our own template add a new template so here you will be seeing two options performance review for managers performance review with self review okay so for managers means only manager is involved employee is not involved okay so we have seen when we started up with the performance for goal management we have seen the degree of appraisal so it is a 90 degree of appraisal okay because only manager is involved into that okay so we will be going with the manager and the employee so we will be choosing this second option okay add to my instance okay let's take uh, sql underscore 2 1 underscore performance review. I'm just clicking on it.
What is the issue? Why is it not coming? There is some issues in the system. Find the system. It's not letting you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some something issue with the demo system. Okay, let me check with the administrator. So up to here we will hold the class for today. First, I just want to create the form. Once the form is, once we create our own form, and uh, okay, otherwise we can do also one thing. So okay. Showing from mm -hmm. another, we will take somebody else form, and we will try to edit it.
and uh, root map what was the root map which we have taken we have already taken sci like right okay yeah, let's see okay. yeah please set the root map here from template setting to choose the Rating scale. Rating scale. STL rating scale. Then after that, let me type this one. We copy this. Save it. We have saved. So now it's possible to import the edit field, employee information. Our game type. This is the goal which we have taken. Okay. And here, in this option, it is automatically coming this rating option. We are not doing anything. We are just inputting this whole code. Minimal goal. Uh, let's take uh, let's take minimum goal as four, and let's take maximum goal allowed as uh, allowed as eight. Remaining rating scale. If you want to hide, then hide. Otherwise, you can leave. And uh, this we will discuss once the form is being launched later on in the coming class. And select a rating. So select a rating. Four value. Once we come to the four value, okay, already it is done. Enable to data and everything. Showing already. Allow users to add competencies. So I'm just selecting this option also. Show behavior. I'm just selecting this option also. So if 
if you want to give the ratings on the behavior, generally the ratings on the behavior is not being given. Only the comments are given. Include overall comment. That also option I am taking. Rated if it is required. Then you have a role specific. Again, come down. In the role specific, allow users to add any competencies, show the behavior, or after that. Include overall content, then from the total then when and development it is automatically coming, we don't have to do anything. So in this section also. Allow manual rating. We are just enabling allow manual rating. We are not doing any changes. This is standard way it is coming. Okay. Then we have a signature. So in the signature, so advanced option. So it is almost done. I'm just reviewing again from the I'm just saving it. It will save. Okay. So I'm just going into the general setting. Just cross checking route map, root map description. Then show advanced. If I am just selecting this one, enable previous play button. I'm saving it. Then I will go back to the employee information. Then I go to the review date. Okay. I'm just keeping the permissions open right now. And uh, I just added our goal. I have just written up all the features. Moreover, all the features I have just added up. Okay. Similarly, for the goal specific and summary and signature, and I have just already saved it. Okay. So I have done all these things. Now I have to launch this form. Okay. My form is ready. Okay. Now, when I go here into the manage template, You can see our form is ready. We have just uh, taken somebody else's form and just uh, defined it. Okay. Then we have to go into the admin center. Go into the admin center. Go to the performance form. Can see the launch form. Select the launch form. Once you select the launch form, you will be seeing the performance management. Okay. Hmm. So you want to select all or you want to select so we are going into the performance management. Now you have to select your 
form is the form which you are creating. You can see the form which you have created that is SCL 2021. You have re edited. Select this form. Okay. This form will give you the description which we have written right now. Welcome to the SCL. The same thing here. Last modified it is showing as on today's date. How many sections it is having? It is showing how many sections it is having. Root map and the rating scale. What are the added? This is the summary of this particular form. You click on the next. Once you click on the next, you want to launch this form now or later. So generally, we'll, we will be going and specifying the form. Uh, we are not giving any specific date. Okay, so we'll go with the specifying the form. Recurring schedule means something who has completed as uh, some uh, what you call provision period is there that is a six months provision period or one year uh, completion. So in that case, if you want to take recurring schedule, you can able to take from the hiring date. That all. So we are not doing going and clicking on the next. It will ask you the review period. Date configured from last calendar so let's take this as a custom one because we have taken it so the date was mentioned as uh, 21 I think. we have selected as first April 21 and we have taken this as March March okay. So, this I'm not doing any changes. I'm just clicking on the next. Okay. So, here, select the employee. So in the selecting the employee, all active employees or any particular group. You want to select the group also you have any group which you have created that or any shared group which you have created okay or you want to upload any csv also that option is also there okay so with the help of that also these are the three ways you can able to select otherwise now we are selecting this one we have that user what was the user's name uh, for which we have Created the code. I think that was Emma Granai. So Emma Gran, and uh, I'm just clicking on the next. So it is showing the summary, the form, template, uh, for form tem the template, root map, launch one time, period it is specifying, employee it is specifying here. You can search, search uh, see the employee here, and then you can launch. And if you want to send a email notification to the form, create end root copy. I will discuss with you later. Send email notification, then you yeah. get the email notification. Also, in case if the email, if you are specifying your email in the test users' uh, contact information. Okay, I think we'll have to do it tomorrow. I have to go. It's uh, okay. okay. Yeah, I will just uh, completing this part. I just launched the form right now. So after this, we will. Discuss in the tomorrow's class. Is it okay? Yeah. So I have launched the form. Then I will go to the proxy, and then we can able to see the form, and then we can able to come and discuss on each and every fields in the in our this one SCL performance uh, review. What are the what are the features are there? This one. Okay. Each and everything we will be discussing. By comparing with the form. Okay.